Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Shatrin Swati is here from Biosciences with Shatrin Swati. And uh, today I have a lecture from the genetic series. And this lecture is the second part from the gene structure. And if you people did not watch my first lecture about the genes, you must watch that lecture. You people kind, uh, kindly subscribe to my channel, uh, like my videos and share my lectures with with others if you are sharing the lectures you are sharing the knowledge so keep watching keep sharing knowledge with other uh, so I'm now I'm starting my lecture that lecture is about the um, gene structure and I will discuss the intron in this lecture because I have discussed in detail about the promoters and operators in my previous lecture and also untranslated regions and trans uh, transcription uh, trans uh, 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 proteins and many more things in my previous lecture. So in this lecture, I will discuss about the uh, intron. So now I'm starting the lecture about the introns. And in this lecture, I will discuss about the discovery of the intro uh, introns and then about the introduction, then function. And at the end, I will share some uh, knowledge about the non-coding uh, RNAs um, because these non-coding RNAs relate to the um, intron. So that's why I added uh, this um, non-coding RNAs in this lecture. So first of all, uh, I'm starting from the discovery of the introns. This is very important uh, to know who discovered and where it was first discovered and many more related to that. So it was first discovered in, introns was first discovered in adenovirus. Must read about the adenovirus, what are adenovirus and uh, the role of the adenovirus. So first was discovered in, were discovered in adenovirus in 1977, the two most important uh, and the very famous, uh, and I am paying tribute to all the scientists who spent their lives for science and technology. Uh, so that's why um, I added the photos and little bit about that scientist in my lectures because I really love to uh, appreciate, I really love to tribute all these uh, people. So 1977, the two legends flip uh, Alan uh, Sharp and the second one is the Richard. Robert. So Richard, Robert and Flip Allen discovered in 1977 and got the Nobel Prize in 1993. 1977, discovery of the intron. And later on, uh, most uh, familiar scientist Walter Gilbert, the Walter Gilbert introduced the term intron. The term was introduced by the Walter Gilbert, but they uh, the entrants were discovered by the Flip, Allen, and Richard. So now I'm showing you the some photographs of these legends. First one on the left side of me is the Flip, and then you can see the Richard, and at the end the, with the smiling face, uh, Gilbert. So now I am giving you here the introduction about the introns. What are introns? Now you people are familiar with the history and discovery, who discovered and where it was first discovered. So introduction uh, included the, what is intron basically? The intron word is derived from the intragenic because why it is called intragenic. Intras mean within gene. Genic gene, intra within, within gene means they, the introns are present within the same, within a gene. All genes have their own intro, uh, their introns and exons. Exons are the coding region and introns are the non-coding sequences. And you can see here the eukaryotic uh, gene here in the figure. You can see this is the exon region exon region and these two exon regions in the mid have what 
intron region so this intron region is the non coding sequence and it is intragenic because present within the same gene between the two coding region exons exons are those region in a gene which encode for proteins which encode for proteins mean a messenger rna formation and then you can say the messenger rna formation undergo the translation mechanism first transcription and then translation translation mean protein formation but these introns do not take any part in the protein formation or translation is it clear now moving towards the next slide and i will show you introns are absent in the prokaryotes but they are present in the eukaryotes and viruses here you can see the um, two uh, figure first is related to the prokaryotic gene structure and the second one is related to the eukaryotes and you can clearly observe here that the in case of the prokaryote there is no intron just the exons are present no intron because the reason is that the prokaryote contain just one single chromosome one single dna haploid so that's why the complete genome is uh exon type no uh, introns are present but in the eukaryotic cells you can see here the exon and intron both are present so this is the big difference between the intro uh, prokaryotic and eukaryotes and you can see here very clear diagram uh, very clear figure about the prokaryotic and eukaryotic now the concept is clear where it is present where it is absent and what is the reason now i'm moving towards the next the introns there is some information you must read that and uh, here i added the uh, you can see the uh, research article name uh, which is related to the 75% is non functional or um, functional uh, dna this article is related to that so this uh, non functional dna or non coding dna which is also known as junk dna and that is related to the uh, uh, intron introns is a part of that so must read this slide now intron function what is the function as uh, i have discussed that the introns are the non coding sequences uh, they do not play a role in transcription and translation means uh, do not play a important role in proteins formation or encoding uh, for proteins so what and why allah created the introns in the why created this introns non coding region in the dna Uh, the research is going on and i will share these two articles with you in the description box and uh, many scientists uh, believe that they play a very important role in gene regulation and gene expression in controlling that and also there is some information about that these co non coding regions which are the introns present in the between the exons so uh this the presence of these non coding region between the exon region help in the crossing over or you can say that uh, increases the chances of recombination and also responsible for the genetic variations because uh, in the gene length as i have shown you here as i have shown you that the, uh, these are present between these introns are present between the exon so the scientists believe that the these uh, uh, introns which are non coding sequence uh, increases the uh, frequency of the uh, genetic recombination or uh, uh, assist crossing over easily uh, genes cross between the homologous chromosome during crossing over and responsible for the genetic variation now you must read this slide okay now moving towards the this is an article the functional benefits of introns in genome must read this article according to this article then intron has been a, a big biological mystery since 
still it is a big uh, biological mystery it is present in uh, eukaryotes and viruses but it absent in prokaryotes so second one case is the amount of total introns varies in different species it is not same varies in different species so the length and the number of introns vary in different genes of the same species like in the human different genes have different length and number of introns fourth one point is that all introns are copied into rnas by transcription and dns introns can be copied into rnas and i will show you which type of rnas are uh, synthesized from the uh synthesized from this uh, non coding sequence which is intron because i have um, mentioned that the introns are the non coding sequences and they do not play any role in protein synthesis or translation so the uh, on the other hand they have regulatory functions and producing different types of the rnas you must read this article search this article and read this article i will share the uh, link of that article in the description box you must read this so which type of the rnas are synthesized from the introns these rnas are known as non coding rnas is it clear to all of you that which type of rnas are synthesized from the introns these are the non coding rnas because i have discussed that messenger rna cannot be synthesized by the messenger rna which play important role in protein synthesis not synthesized by the introns just non coding rnas nc rnas they are also known as which do not take part in translation means protein synthesis they are produced by the introns and these are transfer rna ribosomal rna micro rna si rna micro rna si r si rna si for um, silencing rna it is also sh uh, short or small interfering rna it is also known as so must read about that uh, rnas and i will discuss about uh, si rna micro rna in my next lecture inshallah i will give you a detail uh, lecture deliver a detailed lecture about the si rna and micro rna they play a very important role in disease and many other um, factors so uh, these type of non coding rnas are synthesized by the introns must keep it in your mind i am uh, repeating that sentence that the non coding rna uh, sorry intron non coding sequence do not take part in the uh, translation they do not encode for the protein synthesis but they play a very important role in the um, uh, many uh, other uh, uh, types of rnas like transfer rna ribosomal rna micro and si rnas which play a very important role uh, during the Uh, cell cycles and many like transfer rna picking up the uh, amino acids during translation and ribosomal rna play a very important role in ribosome formation similarly micro rna si rna and silencing rna and many other uh, function uh, performed by these and i will discuss in detail in uh, next lecture so i hope so the lecture uh, uh, will give you a lot about the introns and uh, must uh, watch this and carefully watch it and if you have any question kindly ask me i will uh, you uh, you can com comment uh, write in comment your question in a, uh, your question in a comment uh, box and also share uh, also message me so uh, i'm uh, thankful to you must listen to that lecture and i am sharing some articles and the st uh, research students must read these articles and other student can also re read who are uh, interesting taking interest in um, uh, 
uh, about the DNAs and junk DNAs and non-coding DNA and introns and exon must read these articles. So thank you very much. Uh, keep watching, keep sharing, like my videos, subscribe my channel and Allah Hafiz.